Hey. Got these each for five bucks. This is appealing because it's loud. It's stupid. It is geometric. It's abstract. It's paisley. And it's vintage. Who knows? Who can say if Frank is a good brand or not? But that shirt will flip for 20 bucks for sure. Athleta is a women's athleisure brand that is kind of Lululemon adjacent and some of it sells for quite a bit of money. This was five bucks. And I don't know how much I'll get for it. I'll look up the reference number for reference and it'll probably end up being worth around 35 or 40 used. And then I got all this for five bucks and it was an especially good haul today. Your boy's favorite brand, Salty Crew. If you're a deckhand, that's your brand. This is a diesel hoodie. Diesel, lightweight hoodie. It's got some stuff wrong with it. Bare minimum, will flip for 10 bucks. Vintage. Great Smoky Mountains National Park t-shirt with the big elk. With that big elk drip on the back, drip drip, fire flame, vintage, fire, heat. I don't know, probably 10 bucks. This is a jeans company. I don't know how their shirts do. But again, we'll probably flip for 10 bucks, minimum. The man himself, 2XL, I guess vintage, technically, relatively. Every year feels like it's five years these days. So from 2016, it's a 2XL Hanes. Bernie Sanders, the man with the plan, Sesame Street, RIP, to the country. Rocky Horror Picture Show 2XL Pajama Bottoms, cotton with the lips. Don't know how much that's worth, probably 10 bucks. Aztec Geometric Southwestern Pearl Snap Western Cowboy Shirt. Those are all the keywords. This brand sucks, but considering what it is, that is an easy 25, possibly 35. It goes up on the table. Bad brand. Top man. However, it's a men's cardigan. Fairly heavyweight knit. It says it's made in Britain. Probably 15 bucks there. Extreme Paris. Made in France. It's got this kind of mod graphic on it. Who knows? New with tags, splendid one piece bathing suit from Nordstrom's, retailed for 55 bucks. Just uh, take my word for it. And here's the tag. There. Not a very good brand, as far as I know. But. But, but, but. Cuba Vera stuff is trash. It sucks. But when it's free, why not? Or basically free, it's half and half linen and nylon. Men's medium shirt. Have a flip. A lot of my Lula Rose stuff is actually sold quite well. If you can price it way down like I do. $9.97 or best offer as I price basically everything I sell these days. It'll flip. 
I think I've only got one or two pieces of Lulu Row left. That's a surprise to me when I picked it up at first. I thought it was something that I was just rolling the dice on, and I was, but it paid off, and I thought that I would hang on to it forever, but it's all sold quite well. Here's another Cooley Bar shirt. I always avoided this brand previously, but I got a Cooley Bar t-shirt. It was bright yellow, it had no size, had no material composition, it was all messed up. I listed it for I think 15 and it flipped right away. So we'll see what happens with this. Kind of an obscure brand, niche, real niche, rare. Men's sweater, heavy knit, cotton sweater, that'll sell for 10 bucks. If that's a priority mail, I'll price it at 15. I was looking at this and I was thinking, oh, that's probably Champion, something bad. Never seen that before. And then flipped it around. Ba boom! Nobody that works at this thrift store recognizes this logo. And I would feel bad exploiting them. But there's. Uh, I don't know if I brought this up on another video, but the manager, I picked out six pairs of jeans to buy, and then the manager just took them away. It wouldn't let me buy them when I was doing the bag sale thing just decided executively that they were no longer for sale. So, all the Lululemon has belonged to me. Ann Taylor Loft is garbage, but implementing kind of a different strategy on this one, pricing it at 9.97 or best offer, seeing what I can get. That's my stuff. The train keeps rolling. Thanks.